Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Anya, and this reading is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Um, I do double energies. You could identify with either or or neither one, depending on your situation. Not every read is gonna resonate for every person. I'm going to pull the energies and then I'll pull a Celtic cross in your behalf. All right. Let's see. What do we got for my Cancerians? I hope everybody's doing well. I've been gone for a little bit, but I'm back. I need surgery on my hand, see? <laughs> I was having a lot of problems with my hand. Okay. On one side, we have not showing true feelings. Hide, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslighting. Wow. I think I just pulled something prior to that for uh, Leo. It was almost the same thing. So, are you and a Cancer blaming each other for each other's faults? I'm almost feeling that. <laughs> I'm not saying that's true. I'm just saying, you know, the other one was um, gaslighting too, but it wasn't the same card. Keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, string along, and a one night stand. Ouch. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Um, somebody's not showing their true, their true self in this situation. And they're trying to blame the other person for their behavior. And that's how I'm feeling this. So I don't know who, who this message is for. But um, you can't blame your behavior on somebody else. And this person is not making the greatest decisions. Okay, as far as one night stands or as far as, um, you know, spreading their energy too thin is what I'm hearing. Let's see what we got for this Celtic spread. Okay, I don't read reversals. I got the cards turned around, my bad. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Somebody's harvesting what they've planted. See that card? Somebody is getting the benefit or the non-benefit of anything that they've planted. And the challenge position is the queen of pentacles. Let's see. Looking pretty good so far, Cancer. Oops. Yeah. This one wanted to come out. Queen of Wands. Yeah, buddy. You're going for your dreams, Cancer. You're you're like all out. You've had enough of this this uh, baggage or or, or this um, Ten of Wands energy. And you're in celebration mode, but there could be a third party here. Just saying, three cups, could be third party. Uh, best possible outcome is for you to make that judgment that's gonna make you happy, okay? Uh, in the immediate future, we have the Knight of Cups. So, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Coming in to save the day. Uh, factors affecting the situation is the devil. So this is codependent behavior. Your challenge position is the queen of pentacles. So either someone or you are in a codependent relationship and need to um, address that in order to have this outside influence and keep it, which is your wish fulfillment. 
So this outside influence is beautiful. Hopes and fears, we got the page of pentacles, which is a message about money. And in the final outcome, we have the queen of wands. And then that is so weird because like I said, Leo had the king of wands in that position. So let's clarify the three of cups. What is this three of cups about? Seven of Cups, Two of Swords, High Priestess, and Eight of Wands. I think, Cancer, that a lot of things are happening for you right now, and you're you're very happy about them, but at the same time, you're questioning your own intuition and if you've made the right choice. However, there will be, or there has been a message signifying here in the past that you definitely made the right choice. It made you happy, okay? Let's see what uh, this Knight of Cups energy is all about. Walking away from the Knight of Cups, huh? Oh, wow. Okay. You're all up in your head about money right now, Cancer. And that's how I feel about this reading is that you're deciding whether to walk away from something or not. And it's really got you up in your head. Okay. This is your immediate future. And remember, the future energies can always be changed. Okay. You don't have to this is just like a heads up, okay? Um, I got the fool on the bottom and the ten of cups when I, ah, uh, that's funny. That's what, uh, that's what, look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody's spying here. Somebody, somebody's doing some, some, uh, gaslighting, some spying, some trying to figure things out more than likely make the decision that they need to make for their future. Let's see what the judgment's about. Page of Wands. Six of Wands. Seven of Swords. And the Wheel of Fortune. Well, what I'm feeling with that. As long as you keep things straightforward. You know, kind of like with that Six of Wands energy. And not try to be sneaky or or self-sabotaging. I'm hearing self-sabotage more than I am uh, deception, which there is a little bit of deception on that part. The wheel of fortune is here for you. It's here. And it's turning. And it's giving you everything you ask for. Okay? So let's get to the queen of wands. You need to go within, seek your answers about a marriage proposal or something of that nature, whether you want it or not. Yeah, and it's going to require you to have balance, Cancer, in order to make this decision the right decision. Because right now, you're here. You're at the lover's energy and wish fulfillment, okay? But in your immediate future, you're going to wonder if you made the right decision, Okay? And it looks like the final outcome here is going to be go within Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. But you could have a Leo moon or a Sagittarian rising. I mean, any of any. This could be you. This is Virgo. This is Taurus. So this is you going within to find your answers about a contract, a legal binding contract, 
of some kind. You're not sure if you want it or not, okay? You're not sure, but you need to temper yourself and balance yourself in order to make the right decision for you, where you don't have to have any deceptive energy whatsoever to get this right, <clears throat> okay? There we go, material and spirit, spiritual prosperity. But, spit it out. Um, Let's see what else we can get from the Psychic Pro here. Let's see. Truth. Here we go. Destiny. Yeah. All of this was meant to happen for you, Cancer. All of it. The money, the uh, possible travel involved. <clears throat> And it was meant to see if you could stand in your truth while prospering without any kind of deceptive behavior, which is beautiful. I mean, I don't see that. I see you having victory over any kind of deception in your way. You're taking the reins. You're, you're making things happen the way you want them to happen. But you're all up in your head about it. All signs on the board, so there's no specific sign attached to this. I mean, I've got Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo. We got all kinds of, all kinds of uh, wands or Aries, Sagittarius, and we got Capricorn here as a factor affecting the situation. So there's a could be a Capricorn that is affecting. Your situation okay but somebody's gaslighting here which means that they're blaming someone else for their faults and that is the only thing I see wrong here everything else is absolutely beautiful just get out of your head cancer okay we got the eyes of beauty in reverse so let's see what that says. Positive expectations and clarity. Okay. Okay, this says, as a challenger, the eyes of beauty are signs that self-centered fear expressed through harsh judgment is behind your current circumstances. Are you seeing only the flaws in your circumstances or in another person? Are you looking at what is what is wrong instead of what could be made right? If you take some time to adjust your eyes and see things exactly as they are, you cannot help but admire their perfection. Release your expectations and demands and be with the truth of the way things are now. You're whole and beautiful and perfect. And what you dis observe is to, it may not be exactly what you want, but perhaps in shifting your vision, you will find clarity and see that it's exactly what you need at this time. A total shift in perception is what is required right now. Okay? So like I said, I don't know who's doing the gaslighting here. It could be you, could be them. Like, and if you don't identify, it isn't your read, okay? Um, but this has the potential to be a beautiful thing. So try to get out of this energy, all right? The Nine of, Nine of Swords is not, uh, it's very un, unsettling energy. It's like, it was... Feel, wait, waiting for the next. For, I feel like waiting for the shoot next shoot or the other shoot to drop off. It's how to, however they say that. That's what I feel like this energy is. Okay, you're afraid that that your happiness is going to get interrupted, and it's causing you some discomfort. Okay, all right. That's all I have for you this time, Cancer. Please like, subscribe. And that will help me a lot. 
and I will see you guys next time. Till then, stay safe, stay well, take care. Bye for now.